Hello, I'm Congressman Robert Pittenger. This week, we received news that the Senate Republicans abandoned efforts to repeal and replace Obamacare, not taking up strong, conservative legislation, which I helped pass in the House of Representatives. In my opinion, not passing a health care reform bill is a mistake of unfathomable consequences that will jeopardize the ability to govern going forward. Unfortunately, some of my colleagues seem to have forgotten the lessons of President Ronald Reagan. President Reagan's policies yielded the greatest economic expansion in history and led to the collapse of the Soviet Union. Yet, we must also remember that in becoming the icon of the conservative movement, President Reagan had to raise taxes 11 times and compromise with Democrat Speaker Tip O'Neill on Social Security and other issues to achieve his historical success. President Reagan knew that governing requires consensus. Governing requires recognizing and respecting that each member of Congress comes from a district that is very distinct with specific needs. As such, there is never a perfect legislation. President Reagan's strategy was to take the available wins. If he could get 70 or 80 percent of what he wanted, he'd come back for the rest later. He succeeded. We can too. As your congressman, earlier this year I helped pass conservative legislation in the House of Representatives to repeal and replace Obamacare. Our plan repeals Obamacare, removes the federal mandates and taxes, and replaces it with a market-driven health care system that will lower the cost, it will provide increased access to health care, and protects pre-existing conditions. Let's look at the other aspects of this health care bill. It protects the life of the unborn. It defunds Planned Parenthood and preserves the Hyde Amendment. Most significant reform of Medicaid is in this bill in over 50 years, saving over $800 billion. We passed the Protecting Access to Care Act, prevents costly lawsuits from unscrupulous attorneys to help reduce the cost of health care while preserving economic damage awards. We protected our borders with funding of $1.5 billion for additional border security. We passed No Sanctuary for Criminals Act. It ends the dangerous sanctuary city policies which protect unlawful and criminal immigrants from federal immigration enforcement. And we passed Kate's Law, which increases penalties for deported felons who return to the United States. We also passed accountability at the Veterans Administration. It streamlines the process for firing or suspending VA employees for poor performance or misconduct. It advocates on an ongoing basis uh, and an average of 500 veterans to expedite their VA claims. If you need help as a veteran, you call 704-362-1060. That's my office. We want to be there for you. We also prioritize taxpayer dollars. As a steering committee member of the Republican Study Committee, I supported $200 billion in mandatory spending cuts in the RSC budget. Just last week, I helped pass the National Defense Authorization Act which provides nearly $700 billion for our military, including the largest pay raise for troops in eight years. It reverses the previous administration's spending cuts that I believe decimated our military readiness. We passed regulatory reform. We passed the RAINS Act. It gives congressional oversight for major regu regulations. It ends unchecked power of the bureaucrats. We passed and President Trump signed 13 reform laws ending unnecessary small business regulations. While we protected the Second Amendment, we protected the unborn, we prevented federal takeover of local land, and we removed additional costly regulatory burdens on the economy. Preventing implementation of the waters of the United States rule was enacted as well. This will protect America's farmers, ranchers, and cattlemen. We also passed financial regulatory reform in the Choice Act we repealed the burdensome Dodd-Frank regulations on small community banks and ended taxpayer-funded bailouts and increased the penalties for the bad actors in Wall Street. We reformed the CFPB by creating the Congressional Budgeting and Oversight and ending their unchecked authority. We established regional achievements to secure funding for our new airport control tower in Charlotte and replaced an airport tower that was outdated it underperformed, it was unsafe for the world's sixth busiest airport. We created increased access and flexibility for USDA grants for rural communities. Also, advanced efforts to secure a new Doppler radar for the region to detect tornadoes and severe weather. Currently, Charlotte is the only major city in the country without Doppler radar. 
we obtained over a billion dollars in Hurricane Matthews relief recovery funding, then we have continued efforts as well to meet those unmet needs. Despite what you may hear or not hear in the mainstream media, Congress has had a busy, productive first six months in 2017. Your House of Representatives has gone to work. We passed nearly 270 bills just in 2017. This is more than any other president, including President Obama, and twice President Clinton's total. President Trump has already signed over 50 of those bills into law. If you need help with Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, passports, the IRS, the VA, USDA, FEMA, and most other federal agencies, call my office. Call 704-362-1060. That's 704-362-1060. And if you want to tour the Capitol, see the art and the history of this wonderful uh, facility, or if you have a question about policy issues, then you call my office in Washington. Area code 202-225-1976. That's area code 202-225-1976. And I also hope that you'll join me for our town halls that will be this August in Charlotte, in Matthews, in Wingate, Wadesboro, Rockingham, Laurenburg, Lumberton, Lisbeton, and Fayetteville. We look forward to being with you. Thank you and God bless you.